Hi and welcome to the alphascanner.com. Today what we're going to do is take a look at one of the uh, free resources. This is uh, what we're uh, going to look at today is the Fibonacci calculator and right now we're going to create an example and show you how it works using an uptrend. So if you're not familiar with Fibonacci it might sound intimidating, uh, you know, a mystical market uh, uh, force, but really I think it's got a lot to do more with crowd behavior. Um, the, the Fibonacci sequence itself was uh, you know named after uh, Leonardo of Pisa who was known at the time as Fibonacci uh, but he came out with a book in 1202 that kind of outlined the theory so it's been around for quite a while obviously but it's been applied to the stock market uh, not just the stock market to any publicly traded um, uh, vehicles such as Forex, uh, futures, um, you know, as individual stocks, and that sort of thing. What we want to look at, though, here is you know not so much a, uh, a the 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 theory and the and the concept of Fibonacci, but the practical application in the market and how you can use it. Now, what I would recommend is that you go to Wikipedia or something like that and type in Fibonacci if you're unfamiliar with it. What I want to do today is show you how it works and a little bit of the theory of, of what it's based on. Uh, it's, it's really kind of based on the concept of the measured move or some of the Elliott wave principles that uh, markets move in waves, that they have a, uh, a first initial thrust, then a corrective wave or pullback and then a continuation so what we look at is a move that let's just say occurred from twenty to thirty dollars a share so let's assume that a point a was twenty dollars a share and point b is thirty dollars a share so we'll type those in and we'll say this move began at twenty dollars and we'll put in our ending point of thirty dollars a share so what you'll see here now is that we have what's what in here a range now of ten dollars so from point a to point b is ten dollars a share so what we're trying to determine is where does this market have the potential to find support now this is just one piece of the puzzle obviously and I don't personally recommend buying you know blindly at Fibonacci levels but there are reason to study the the auction process on a shorter term time frame to see if they find support in that level let's explain what that means so basically the the numbers that are highlighted in blue here are some of your more common retracement levels, uh, the, the bigger, more widely watched retracements, a 38%, 38.2, 50, and a 61.8%, approximately one third, one half, and two thirds retracements. So just again, to keep it real simple, let's say that the stock pulled back 50% of that rally. So 50% of the 20 to 30 dollar move or the ten dollar range would bring us down five dollars or to a point of twenty five dollars a share if it was to pull back the sixty one point eight percent it would drop from that thirty dollar level to twenty three it would drop by six dollars and eighteen cents to twenty three dollars and eighty two cents and that's where the sixty one point eight percent retracement would be so we would begin to look for the potential of support to be found in there again I, I don't recommend that you go in and buy uh, blindly buy there but it's something to consider hey here's the potential area of support here so we're just focusing on the retracement right now so this we would look at this and say well it has the potential to retrace maybe 61.8 percent what's considered a failure of a, a failed move basically is a move of greater than 61.8 percent so it doesn't mean that if it pulls back 65 cents that you know that the that the, the, the a to b move has completely failed and the stock cannot recover and rally again but it certainly suggests that the odds don't favor it as much so let's now look at it and say that let's say the stock pulled back 50 percent down to the 25 level. So what we'll do is we'll put that 25 here in the uh, in, in this um, uh, pullback low level and you can see that that changed the numbers on the projection side over here so what we're looking at is basically the concept of the measured move the measured move suggests that a move of 20 to 30 that pulls back to 25 would then the, the, the move of A to B 
would be equal to the move of C to D. So a 100% um, uh, extension basically of that move, 100% extension would be we would take that 10 points and add it to the pullback low and that would give us our target of $35 a share. Now it's not always going to do that so we can come up with potential levels where the market would, would go. So let's say it only uh, was to extend 38.2% of that move. Well then it would go $3.82 from point B which we know is 25 so the stock might encounter some resistance at $28.82 falling short of that point B. If however it was to rally 138% then we would be looking at $13.82 and give us a price objective of $38.82. Now there's a lot of different numbers in here obviously and the intention isn't to give you so much here's the best way to use these Fibonacci levels. The best way I think is to combine them with traditional support and resistance levels to understand the psychology of the market that you're trading and that sort of thing and then come up with a plan and wait for price confirmation. So we always want to anticipate these potential levels of support or where the market may encounter resistance. So always want to anticipate but wait for price confirmation before you participate. Real quick just so I can show you the difference on the downtrend. Now in the downtrend we'd be starting with a high number of course. We'd be uh, measuring from let's say the stock drops from $50 a share to $40 a share. Okay now we'll uh, enter that in and you can see that that would you know a 50 percent retracement would mean that for if it dropped from fifty dollars down to forty dollars if it was to rally fifty percent of that or retrace fifty percent of that it would bring us to forty five dollars a share so if we then put in forty five dollars a share in here then we would see you know if we're to get a hundred percent move from that a to b if if a to b is going to be equal to C to D, then our price objective would be down at $35 a share. That's where we'd expect to find um, the potential for some support in this market. So this is again found under your resources tab at the alphascanner.com and it's one of the three uh, resources that are available free for uh, anyone. Uh, so I hope it's useful to you. Thank you.